Lake Lusengu right here in the Mother City Cape Town in Newlands to be precise at the Cricket Stadium where the Hot FM Music Festival is taking place and as you can see behind me the crowd is going wild for the performance which is happening right now as we speak guys the amazing amazing performances more that are going to come on stage um, just to name a few Nasty C aka and of course the new age Doc Shebeleza will be on, on the stage a little bit later guys stay tuned you know that we out here Grinders SA brings you nothing but the coolest insert and your girl Monique is here to cover it stay tuned <laughs> because we know you are Afrikaans singers. For those that don't understand music, Afrikaans music, um, what would you tell them? Like, how, why would they be interested in listening to Steve Yevil's Fantastic? I think basically that uh, Afrikaans is basically a mother tongue amongst Cape Townians. So, um, especially with the Evil Fantastic, I've been playing with them for a uh, year and a half now. And their music is basically, it, it's, it's what you want to hear. In Afrikaans, kind of, you know, like a lot of people in, in, in Cape Town speak Afrikaans. And um, 
what I said earlier on in the interview is like this is like a melting pot. Like the Art Model 4.9 kind of festival is the melting pot. There's different like R&B, there's Afrikaans music, there's jazz, there's pop, there's everything. Yeah. So, so it's like people coming out, enjoying some music, and from Afrikaans to R&B to jazz to anything, rock music, everything. I think Prime Circle is later. They're going to be performing later on. So, so like, I think it's a great initiative. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Now let's just um, bring our minds to the serious situation which is taking place because right now we are in Cape Town and um, we know there's a water crisis which is taking place right now. So um, what would you say, what message would you say, not only to the Evil Fantastic listeners, but to every Cape Townian that's out there, what message do you have for them regarding this water crisis from each and every one of you? Sure. Well, uh, I think everyone should do their part. I mean, we're all saving water at home and sticking to the sticking, to, what do you call it, the amount, you know what I mean, the amount of water that you can use per day. I don't know if there's anything else that we as citizens can do really, but that. And from you, sir? Well, I think it's as simple as you don't need to shower every day. <laughs> Take it easy. I, no, no, but like, I don't think a lot of people understand, like, your um, skin is a self-cleaning organ, so showering every day is um, unnecessary. And what do you do if you don't shower? You you just wipe well, yourself? If, if your armpits are sweaty, just dab some water under there, clap the shower every second day. That's what I'm saying. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> and from you, sir? Well, I think for, for me, it's basically like, just like use water sparingly, you know, like that conscious kind of decision to not waste water, because I think also, you know, when you do your normal thing, it's like, you know, when you brush your teeth, you open the tap. Don't do that. You know, it's like kind of be conscious about what you're doing with the water because we have a water crisis. And, um, yeah, I've been spraying water for, you know, even like taking my water out, bath water, watering my plants. So just doing that extra mile, I think if everyone just spare like at least five to seven liters, it's going to help us. So, yeah. Fantastic. Now, for those that want to follow you on the social media handles, where can they catch you? Okay, this guy, yeah, Giant. You can catch us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at the Evils Fantastis. We're there. Easy to find. Go for it. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> But this is my new job, guys. This is Grinder Essay.
your hostess with the most this grinders SA. We have come here at the, the hot Cape Town FM music festival, which is happening at the Newlands Cricket Stadium. Standing next to me, guys, I'm shivering. Yeah, Can you too. see this? Me He's too. amazing. It's an amazing performance. How are you today? I am very well. And then obviously feeling the love that was out there, that made me feel even more Lekker. Uh, if lekker is, well, I don't know what's the best English word to describe lekker. Yeah. Lekker is probably the word. Yeah, lekker. Lekker, yeah. We may made it American. It's lekker. Yeah, and I'm sure you've performed in other parts of South Africa before. How is Cape Town for you? How do you feel that Cape Town? What has Cape Town done differently for you? You know, Cape Town is my hometown. I grew up uh, born and bred in Mitchell's Plain. And then I kind of just knew that um, performing is what I wanted to do. Went on to perform in America and in Europe. Um, all, all over, and um, but it's, there's something about Cape Town that is just home for me. It's the part of the people, it's the mountain, it's the music, you know. And seeing that this we have this kind of institutions that's growing now as the Heart First Festival, and to see the support on the very first festival, yeah. that is absolutely mind blowing. Amazing. So uh, tell your fans that are watching right now, what can they expect from you? Because you always bring something new. You always bring everything down. What can they expect from your next wow, performance? Wow, I didn't know I had fans. Okay, well. I, I'm one of your fans. Hello, well, hello. Now that I do, uh, well. Um, you know, I'm proud to say this year, I'm celebrating um, 50 years in, in the industry, crossing over to music, to theatre, to television, to producing and stuff. So um, on the 24th of March, I've decided to do a show at Grand West. Wow. And as daunting as that may be, I'm happy to say we already sold up 80%. I don't even know who knows me. <laughs> I know. I'll well, the whole of Cape Town knows you. They came all the way to see you. That uh, was no, man, it's so dope. And so just to feel that love, and that's why I said, I could see you guys were dancing on the side. You were standing there like, who is this guy? I'm loving this. Everybody was up in the feet. Everybody, that for me is just solidifies why I do what I do. Thank you so much. No, thank, thank you so, so much. I feel very honored no, to be standing next to yeah, with the Mo Moses. Mo Moses. Mo Moses. Mo Nick Mo Moses. You get it? You get it? Yes, guys. Yes, guys. I'm standing next to Legend, like I said, guys. It's amazing. It's going on here at the Hot uh, Cape Town Music Festival. You guys stay tuned. This is Grinders Essay. I got Emil Adams next to me. What else do you? Catch this, this is grand as essay. <laughs> <laughs>
Jared Rickard, how are you, sir? I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. It's been almost a year since we last saw you and we last interviewed you. What has changed? What has? How has the ev evolution been? How have you evolved into a better artist? Well, you know, there's so many things that have taken place. Um, after seeing you guys, I think it was a year ago, yeah. um, I found myself going overseas again. I was in Sweden and Finland working on music. Um, since seeing you, I released the second single, and that went to number one in radio stations around South Africa. Yeah! Um, especially being an independent artist, not signed, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing. And um, came back, I just literally came back a week ago from Sweden, and uh, co completing my album will be coming out in March. And after this amazing festival, I'm gearing up to perform at the Cape Town International Jazz Festival. So that's also another huge one I'm looking yeah. forward to. So that's what's been happening. That's fantastic. And you just mentioned that you were out of the country. Please tell us what, um, how is it being out of the motherland and how is it being in? What is the difference between the two? I think what's different is obviously just the cultures, but being abroad gives you time to think, you know, and explore what's happening out there in music. And I spent a lot of time watching other international acts in Sweden, um, just checking out the, or checking the radio stations, what they're playing, what people are listening to. So there's a good like research marketing thing. And I think going away, I, I, I really appreciate being South African because there's just something different that we have when we meet people, when we have conversation, we have warmth, you know, we have love. They're also, people abroad are also in their own way friendly, but there's just something about being African, you know? And coming home and doing this festival, I just felt like Cape Town and South Africa just opened their arms up to me, saying, "Welcome back, boy!" Yeah. And and um, yeah, so it's, it's it's been it's been all good, all good. For your fans, not for your fans that are watching this right now, what can they expect from you? What, me being one of them, what can we expect from you? <laughs> That's very sweet. I love it to bits. No, so I'm going to be doing my album coming out in March, oh, yes. and um, some exciting things have happened. I'm, I'm in talks with the record label so I can't say who just yet yeah. but um, there's been some interest and I'm very excited and so lots of performances I'm performing with um, the Stellenbosch City Orchestra um, in a week's time and then with the city full of the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra and then um, like I said the Jazz Fest and then lots of ones lots of other events happening um, later this year and more music to be released yeah. hopefully music videos yeah um, and I'm in them right Yes, of course, you're there doing your... Hello. Yes, she got that bag. You're doing that's that. Bang. Okay, no. Yeah, but we get you in less, less fabric. You've got to show it off. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I'm game. Thank you so much for your time. This okay. guy is a busy guy.